paintings are full of unsolved mysteries. To understand the mystery of each picture, you have to get acquainted with the life and thoughts of its creator. Its creator. Let these paintings come to life. To life. Watch our new TV program at the gallery. Contemporary art is something that makes people feel outraged, and works of such artists are sometimes expelled to the streets from the walls of museums. Indeed, a modern artist does not copy the world, he explores it. Instead of a pencil and paint, he can use anything he likes. For example, photos and cellophane, just like Saula Sulemenova uses it in her work. Today, we will dive into her world with the help of the famous painting, Three Brides. Historical reference, painting Three Brides, author Saula Sulemenova, 2015, canvas 100 by 140 centimeters, plywood and plastic bags. Photos of a Kazakh bride from the 19th century served as a prototype. When I was working on it, I had an incredible feeling as if it is a portal of some sort. I started to go back to it and I had the feeling that this is me and my daughter and my other daughter and my mom and my grandmother and my great-grandmother Fatima Matur, a native of Novosibirsk. It was something incredible. Biographical reference. Saul Sulemenova, artist, painter, graphic artist, master of arts, member of the Union of Artists of Kazakhstan. Saul's works were shown at the exhibition Expo 1997 at Lisbon, Portugal. She participated in the first auction of the Kazakh art, Christie's, in London in 2008. They were presented at the exhibition of Central Asian Art in Italy in 2009 and at the third Moscow Biennale of Contemporary Art in 2013. I remember when there was an exhibition, I'm Kazakh, I was attacked by some guardians of traditional values with the accusation that I disgraced the Kazakh people, portraying them in the shabby fences. And just a year later, I did an exhibition in Astana. I have a feeling that the same people were saying that I am a patriot of Kazakhstan. In addition to solo exhibitions in Kazakhstan, Saula Sulemenova held her exhibitions in Paris, San Francisco, Zagreb and London. She uses the technique of painting and photos in her work, as well as graffiti and cellophane painting. In 2008, I turned to photography for the first time. I began photographing garages, fences, then I began to print on banners at first, then on vinyl, then on canvas. I started with all of the three brides and then I started to allocate each of them. Images of Saulus Lumenova generate images of our own. That is, it resonates in the national psyche with some archetypes, and especially female archetypes. But being a bride is a transitional moment. She is in front of the secret initiation of a woman that gives life to another human being. That in itself is a mystery. The archetype of the bride is one of the most manifested images in a woman's life. Most girls live in anticipation, anticipation of becoming a bride. This, of course, is a certain sign of initiation, a beginning of a marriage with a man. Often, it is a sacred time for a woman experiencing an archetypal, mythological feeling. She continues the destiny of her mother, and her mother's mother, and all the other female ancestors. And it is a repetition of what exists in eternity. If the first bride were, she looks back. In the past, she feels like she is in the nomadic past. For a whole generation, she explores her roots. Then in the last brides, where she uses cellophane painting, she brings them as much as possible close to our time. And this sense of contrast of past and present, of a very open nerve collision of past and present, it is intensified in this work. She expressed completely different feelings in the same image. This is a multi-dimension. Oh, I think it is brilliant.
I like that these people of the last century, they have the advantage. They are very beautiful, worthy. They have no desire to prove anything. They are simply worthy and beautiful. There is an entire world behind the work of Saule. It is not only the history of the Kazakhs and images, it is very close to us. Uh, there is something else. There are still some pulses, vibration today. There is some kind of discourse that I do not know, but it is also present. And there is a kind of energy, live energy. And this energy of today, the most powerful of today's transformation processes in the world. Now it seems natural that Saulis in Minerva became an artist. She is the daughter of a famous parent, architect, designer Timur Solomonov, and art critic, musicologist Saida Yelemanova. The mother really wanted her daughter to study at an art school, but nothing came of it. Daily drawings of dead objects in still lives seemed boring for little Saule. Therefore, she chose to walk around the city instead of taking classes at an art school. I love to ride on the tram. I only remember that I was awfully bad everywhere. At school, at an art school, everywhere. I was just bad. I did not sleep at night. All night I would lock myself in the bathroom and write poetry. Then I ran in the morning saying that I was going to school, but really I was walking through the city. Our teacher of sculpture said to me, if you do not go to an art school, you will not become an artist at all. And I said, I will. I slammed the door and I left. I was excluded. In Soviet times, when someone chose the profession of an artist, he had a certain talent. Those people had to pass an academic school. There are 16 years of study. School of Arts, College, then Academy of Arts, Institute of Art. In total, it is a fairly long period of formation, but not all of them are real artists. Heroes of Saulus and Menova, boys with bicycles, the grandmothers on the bench, the workers of public services, the police. Contemporary images often mix with silhouettes of historical characters, such as Abai. Representing the same plain characters from different eras, Saula Sulmenova shows a continuous connection of the modern Kazakh with the values and traditions of their ancestors, creating some kind of memory. Art is very important. Many people think that this is just an ornament of life, but in fact, it is a very important part of life. I just felt it physically when I was 16, 17 years old. My mother is a musicologist. And I discovered, I realized that we are sorely lacking people of knowledge and respect for Kazakh traditional culture. Who am I? What am I doing in this world? What does it mean to be a Kazakh? Saula was interested in these issues since she was a child to get to the truth, to share her discoveries with her contemporaries at the time was more important for her than art. The desire to talk to people directly about the main issues pushed a 16-year-old Saula to the barricades in December 1986. There were military vehicles and a bunch of soldiers with sapper shovels and the blades and the blood. I was shaking. I lived on the street corner of Alfarabi in the Snovka. I decided to go by foot because there were no buses. I reached the intersection of Furmanov and Abai. I saw a broken bus and people around. I climbed on the bus. I spoke poorly in Kazakh. I wrote poems in Russian. I read them. Kazakhs who open their eyes, we endure the pain and death. We will become the Great Wall now we will be united. I was pulled off this bus and I went together with other people and I felt happiness, togetherness. A simple word makes her a great artist. This is a dangerous openness to the world. They should 
kill, and she's standing in the middle of it, reading poetry. That is the quality of fearlessness. And it is in her works, her experiments, she's fearless. She does not look back, she just creates, and that's it. In the picture from the series, There Is No Material Value, the artist uses family photos. In the main work of her series, Saula portrayed her grandmother, Mariam Selimanova, who was repressed after her husband in 1938. This woman had experienced the brunt of life in Stalin's camps. We tried to participate in the great exhibition dedicated to the 17th anniversary of the October Revolution, organized by the Union of Artists for the first time. We were only 17 years old. All three of us were not accepted and our work was thrown away. The first exhibition of young Kazakhstani representatives of contemporary art took place a year later, in 1988. Saula Sulemenova, her friend Alma Menlibayeva, and other artists, who later became famous, united in a group called the Green Triangle. On behalf of the association, they presented their work. What is the Soviet underground? The art which is not officially recognized and rejected officially. They are not provided with an exhibition area. They do apartment exhibitions. That is, artists, rebels, who do not recognize the canons of their contemporaries, seniors, classics, who didn't align with ideology. I use images from archival photographs. I did not invent them. This is the main principle. I'm talking about real people, not some stylized images. Here is a picture. We have our message. The energy of purity of the traditional 19th century. The next layer is today's picture. It is the rhythms of today. And then, here's the cellophane. For me, it was happiness when I realized that you can work with plastic bags. I thought, why use the pain? It is expensive and it is so short-lived. And then the cellophane, plastic from which the packages are made. It is a bright, colorful, so rich. A ton of powerful printing with indelible ink had already been spent to color a red bag. And I just did a bunch of them. Simply distribute onto the floor in the kitchen and photograph these packs and we've got a still life. I said I wanted to do something. And off we went. Creating images of a combination of ready-made objects this idea was recently discovered by artists. It was first used by Marcel Duchamp, whose work influenced the development of new directions in the art of the second half of the 20th century. In 1917, at an exhibition in New York, the French artist Duchamp Marcel hoisted on a pedestal, urinal, and called his performance the fountain. When putting this object in the middle of an art space, Duchamp said that the context is more important than the text itself. This way, a set of tools of the new art has been expanded. Duchamp promoted the idea that the artistic act is not just the oil painting and the complex processes in the mind and soul of the artist, which preceded its creation. Rightly call it plastic bags. It is her desire to penetrate the consciousness of the viewer by means of the intense colors that surround us today. Nowadays, one creates mostly heroic theme. It is even called ethno-romanticism. I'm trying something different from it because I think that to create a national reality and a national image is not necessary. As if it is out of my head and it is necessary to use the documents. Firstly, nothing changes. 
people do not change in principle. There is a big difference between the end of the 19th century and now, but at the same time, the same feeling, the same pride, the desire to survive, the desire to say something remain forever unchanged. It turns out that this cellophane is used to preserve the road to the castle of the purity of the former innocence and purity, if it is still possible. On the other hand, you can create an art from things that were thrown away. Here is the message. The world is full of creative people who create paintings of unusual materials. English artist Nick Gentry gathered old floppy CDs with his friends and took a jar of paint and painted portraits on them. To create his paintings, the artist Joel Black used bolts, badges, toy soldiers and more. The most interesting exhibits of these are portraits of Barack Obama, Margaret Thatcher and Mao Zedong. The artist from Amsterdam, Max Zorn, makes unusual portraits of Scotch. They are reminiscent of footage from the film. Although they are created in a limited range of colours, the play of light and shadow helps the artist to achieve realism. Hairdresser Li Hailian creates a picture of the hair. Inspired by the well-known pictures made of sand in China, he decided to use as a material a cut of hair. Sophisticated technique where ready images and materials are connected, such as photography and plastic flap, allow the artist to create not only the multidimensional but also semantic layering. Images from the past, like layers of time, become a part of life today. They exist here and now. I like to work fast. While I feel something, I try to transform that feeling. I usually try to do the job for the day. And then I saw Kazakh Chronicles. I began to dig in and used to work on the same image for a month. As long as I have something to unravel and to understand something. She wants to understand as any human being what's happening now. In the world, with me personally, and with others. It is not universal, but it happens to everyone. And here, she saw those pictures and called our heritage. Many artists are turning to this and work with these pictures. At all times, great artists sought to create something new. And ordinary people always expected from painting to embellish reality. Even realism was once a revolutionary opposing romanticism and academism. Bourgeois effeminate pictures of real life seemed too rough. Today, artists moved away from the classical categories of beauty. Now the main point, not in the work itself, but in the idea that makes a person think. But an unexperienced spectator still requires seeing just plain beautiful painting. Painting is a magical thing. You can say anything you like, and the pictures say more than words. There are so many meanings. One finds what he wants and sees. I can say anything. Maybe I'm a fool, and my pictures are smarter than I am. They say, a man of expression. This does not mean that she feels suffocated in her work. She will find other option tomorrow, but she will remain a soulless Lemenova, recognizable by all. She is a contemporary artist. She expresses modern rhythms, modern vibration. Time selects its own artist, and he responds to it. He feels that it is his time, and it is developing rapidly like an avalanche. Contemporary art, no matter how we view it, pulls us out of the daily routine. It makes us stop and think. We wake up and start to see the surrounding reality and ourselves in it in a new way. Actually, this is what we try to do today, along with the beautiful contemporary artist from Kazakhstan, Saule Sulemenova.